We've heard for years how Florida's foster care system is at its limits. Some kids simply age out before they are able to find a permanent home. But sometimes circumstances change, and the children that were once at risk of being in limbo are able to be reunited with their biological families. Eckerd Connects celebrated with Pasco families today that have reunited. Dozens of parents have put in the work through training and rehabilitation to get their children back. December 24th, Christmas Eve, Miracle got placed with another family. It was the most devastating thing I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. It hurt more than being abused by men like I had in the past. It hurt more than not being invited to family functions. It hurt more than being the outcast and the black sheep in my family. How nice is it to have her back in your arms? Oh, it feels so good. We fought very hard to get these girls back. Among those who are getting back on track is a father who had a substance abuse problem. His two young girls were put in foster care after his wife's death two years ago. He shares with 10 News photojournalist Bert Moreno how after making some changes, he's getting a second chance at being a dad. May of last year, Child Protective Services came and, and took the girls from their mom. And um, shortly after that, she had gone into the hospital and passed away. You know, I did everything that I could to get the kids back out of the system. It's definitely, definitely difficult, you know, not having their mother around, you know, it's all up to me. <clears throat> but they're worth it, so we gotta do what we do. I have always had an abundance of love for my children. That's never been the problem. So God took the only thing that I live for in this world in order to motivate me to get stable housing and stable employment. The only drug I was using had been marijuana, so I was fortunate to ha not have to withdraw and get sick. It's definitely a hard task, but when it's the one thing that you want more than anything else, then it's achievable. You just have to make sure that you always put your priorities first, and you know, these babies here, they're definitely my priorities. And this year alone, Eckerd Connects has reunited more than 200 families.